Liverpool have got a unique approach to goalkeeping, I would say. You know, mm. the whole what Jurgen's called the goalkeeping school. Yeah. You know, big crew of first team goalkeeper coaches and yeah. quite a lot of young goalkeepers within mm. their ranks. It, you know, has that been something that you've worked on with Jurgen or has it been a club yeah, decision? The boss obviously uh, suggested uh, things because, because uh, in the end, obviously. I get old as well, you know. I always had uh, tried to get two young goalies uh, with me, or if he had three experience, at least one young goalie to try to develop the young goalies and make the next step. You know, we always had like Danny Ward and stuff. They all made good steps, and they all, there's quite a few make it in the league. I, 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 I think there must be about ten in the time now playing or so. Obviously, Galaxy was with us as well. You know, Martin Hansen, Di Bozanis, you know, Camille, we just sold this as well. For it. So, we always uh, try to create the, the, the goalie for Liverpool, but to become a Liverpool goalkeeper in the squad is not easy. So, what we try to do is to put all the things we want from a Liverpool keeper in the, with training. And then, yeah, they have to reach their own level. And if that means they play League Two, League One or abroad, as long as they can make a good living and make a goalkeeping a professional career, that is the aim. And I think that has been over the years gone pretty well and, and, and in developed all the time. And by developing, I got a bit older. So uh, then we look to bring a young coach in and then I, uh, I called to the boss. I said, I have to, to look at. And, uh, and it was between the Southampton goalie coach and Jack. And we, we, we uh, took uh, Jack in the end. And then obviously, you know, you're having Four, four feet and uh, four hands, so that helps the training, the intensity, the speed. And then we decide uh, with the boss uh, to bring Tafarel in after speaking with Ali, um, because uh, obviously uh, uh, Tafar has a special way of working as well, and Ali likes that. So we can bring that also then to help the older goalies and stuff. And you know, we work a lot on tactical training and positioning and you know you want to uh, improve all the aspects of the goalie what we always have been doing and and that's a special way you know you 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 work the training in thinking what happens in the game so you put the goalkeeper let the goalkeeper come in training situations what happens in the game so if that happens in the game he knows where he has to be in positioning what is the best body shape what is the best feet positioning or hand positioning to have the best chance to make the save and in the end obviously in this case Ali or Cueve or Adrian who is playing have to make the the decision on the high pressure constantly when, when you've got a young player then coming in, such as, say, Cueve, hmm. how much of it is um, also looking at old clips? Do you have any goalkeepers who you tend to show Cueve or anybody else examples of? Was you a you know, Peter Schmeichel fan, a David Seaman fan, or any other goalkeepers that you...? Um, no, I'm, I'm more a fan of creating the own philosophy or the... You know, I'm, I'm Dutch, so in Holland we think that the goalie has to be perfect playing with the feet and do everything perfect, but that we in Holland, for whatever reason, didn't create too many good goalkeepers because I think they talk too much by playing with the feet than making saves, so you need to develop every aspect of goalkeeping. I, I call it like you have to be a jumping athlete because you have to have speed reactions power, um, you have to have positional play, you have to be able to, for Liverpool to be able to play left foot, right foot, dealing with crosses, 1v1 situation, but you have to play high lines. So I was always a coach from Holland where you have to play high lines, so my philosophy I take as a coach and, and I stay with it and that fit the same way as Liverpool actually want his goalkeepers to play high lines because we're always attacking so you need to go for space behind the defenders and yeah that, that fitted. I was a goalkeeper who play high lines, try to go for crosses and be all round and I always think if you teach your goalkeepers in training to be all round you can play in any team. 
But if you have a goalkeeper who stands only in the goal for a defensive team and try to be in the hole where the shot goes, then it will be difficult if he goes to a different team where he has to play with a high uh, defensive line. And, and that is really uh, how we try to create our goalkeepers. And, you know, I think if you stick with your beliefs, it will create goalkeepers. But you need, there is like a, a big, huge uh, club in Liverpool, so there's a lot of departments and they all have to work together to create this, you know, you have a fitness department, you have the, um, everyone in the club to find the right way basically to, to help them goalies to come through and all the goalkeeping coaches in the academy, they have to have the same way of work and philosophy and they've been working the program we discuss all together. We have always a meeting with the goalie coaches and talk about that. I always say it's a difficult, it's a, like a poison chalice for a goalkeeper because if a striker misses five chances and scores one, he's remembered for that one, right? Yeah. But the other way around for a goalkeeper, if he makes five saves but misses one, he's remembered for the one that he missed. Yeah, but that is also part of being a goalkeeper, no? You, the best goalies make the uh, least mistakes and that's always how you have to drive as a goalie. I, I don't want to make mistakes, I want to keep clean sheets, I want to keep everything out. There's a mentality, you know, you can be technical or tactical, a really good goalkeeper, but if you miss that little bit of heart to want to keep the ball out the net, you're going to be an average goalie. Because the goalies always remember by how many clean sheets they make, or, uh, how many times they make saves and no mistakes. So that, that's life of our job and we have to deal with it. And that, that, that is a kind of pressure you always have and you have to deal with that. Obviously, Alisson managed to get one at the other end and actually scored one for himself, you know. What was going through your mind that day? Because it was, it was an emotional day as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of everything. Oh, it was a tough season really for the way everything went, you know, uh, injuries left, right and centre, Ali losing his dad in a tragedy, really sad time. And then obviously, you know, we fighting on to try and get still in the top four really. And, you know, in the end, uh, yeah, it was great that we uh, we needed to win that game to stay in the race, and from that moment it gave the team a boss, and and we we fired on again. Can you imagine what that would have been like in a stadium with supporters? You know, it's been a bit surreal that such a big moment happened without without fans there. Yeah, yeah, but football without fans is not not great, no. Uh, everyone missed that and, you know, hopefully that would never happen again, but uh, there's no guarantee and, and we just have to uh, be happy that all the supporters are back and lift us uh, that way again. Just finally then, we often get asked about players playing outfield and goalkeepers wanting to play in midfield and I'm sure Alisson would be a, a great midfielder or forward, but out of the current squad, outfield player, who would make the best goalkeeper? Millie uh, probably aggression-wise want to do it and you know he is a, a guy who can do everything really what 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 you can think of so um, but he's not tall but uh, I think he has the right mentality want to keep the ball out the net so that will help one so because I have no much choice in height wise I'd probably stick with Miri I guess because he has the the right mentality and and you know he, he wants to to win and so that will help. That'd be perfect because then he would have played in every single position yeah. for throughout his career. So I know, yeah. That'd cap it off beautifully. And, and it's unbelievable what career he, he has no and Absolutely. what he has done. You have to respect that a lot. John, thank you very much for your time, really appreciate it. No problem. Take care.